Yeah, Wendy Bill here. And I'm at the uh, resort site of Alkali. Alkali, Nevada. And it's uh, not much uh, anything left here at all anymore, but I'm going to go ahead and make a video on it today. And as I'm talking, I'll explain everything as I go. Okay. We look at this. At one time, this was a... And when I say one time, I'm talking... 1920s, 1910, somewhere in there. I'm not sure on the dates. But this was a swimming pool for a large hotel. And we're going to walk up there. And now it's just a, a place for the fish. But this was a nice big swimming pool for the hotel that was here. And the hot springs are over there. And the only business here now is the power company has a switching station. We got the old building over there. We're going to walk up there and we'll look at that. And here's all the normal residents if you look. They're over there, the burrows and wild horses. There goes the herd of wild horses walking up there. Okay, we're gonna walk up here to this area up here and we'll be right back. Okay, you see this big clearing here? And in this clearing, this is where the hotel was with a fabulous restaurant that served the finest food in the area. And you think we're out in the middle of nowhere. Well, we have Silver Peak that's headed out that direction. Up in those hills, we have Tonopah. And then behind us, we have Goldfield. And this was a place where everybody came on the weekends to have fun. All the miners and all the people who lived in these towns, they'd come out here to soak in the uh, pool, the swimming pool, and swim and have fun, eat meals at the restaurant, uh, just have a great time. One of the delicacies that they served at the restaurant was frog legs. That was uh, normally on the menu. Best of steaks, uh, seafood. Because you gotta remember, we had the Tonopah Tidewater that took it up to Beatty and then it transferred onto the other train that came up through here. This, this train went all the way up to Silver Springs, from Silver Springs and around and up and caught the main line. So it carried a lot of freight. And I'll give you guys another article later on the little problems they used to have with the uh, frog legs. It's just an interesting little story. But we're at Alkali right now. And it's just a small little hot springs. Okay, here's the two soaking tubs. They just keep adding layer upon layer of old rugs to keep it in good shape. And it's got some pretty good water running out of it. These are nice. I've soaked in these before. They're really beautiful. Beautiful little hot springs. I'm not sure if Wonder Hussy has been here. I would have to check on hers. But I know Wonder Hussy has got the need 
and the want to find all the hot springs in Nevada. So I wonder if you, if you see this video, let me know if you've soaked in it. I've watched all your videos, but I don't know if you've been here or not. And here we go with our stickers. Everybody that films here has stickers. I don't have any yet. But that's just a thing that people are doing. Now here is the first little pond from this one. And it's coming from out of the spring here. And then this is coming out of the main spring that's up underneath the ground. All right, I'll bring you back as soon as I get up on top. Some old foundations. Some old foundations of a building that was here. Not sure what this one was. Now if you look at these power poles, this is very old. This was put in you know, there's modern ones, but like this set here, this was probably put in back in the 20s. And they've changed things over the years to upgrade and modernize. And we're gonna go look at this old building. There's donkeys and horses everywhere. As you can see, the material here, the ground, this is called expandable soil this clay type ground. And the problem is when it gets wet, it expands. So that's what caused all this bulge in the floor. But this building here, used to be the power station. And the transformers all sit there, and all the switching gear set over here. Now it's just a place where the birds live. And the reason I know this was a power station oh, somebody's collected them already. If you look up there, that's where the three big insulators were that they brought the power inside this building, the electricity. And it would come over here and come in from there. Then it also at one time, they had transformer stage on the platform there for the electricity. And then they modernized and moved stuff around. So this is an important switching station for the power company. Well, it supplies power to Silver Springs, 
to the old AT&T microwave station used to get power from that line there. Alkali is just a very interesting town. Nothing hardly left of it anymore. And we just kind of walk around and look. But the electricity comes in from Tonopah, goes to here, splits off, goes to Goldfield, goes to Silver Lake up there. Nevada Energy. And you see this transformer sitting here. It's probably from I would say probably the 20s or the 30s. Could have been a little newer. Because that line there travels that way and goes all the way up to the top of the next mountain range, up behind this mountain range, and provides power to a couple of uh, radio repeaters. The old AT&T microwave station is what it was originally put in for. And you can see there's a little backup uh, transformer there. And all these big switching. Look how the one pole burnt in half. And then they spliced in another one to replace it. Very important place. Got a little burrow over there. Got a few there. But the soil, you can tell this is expandable soil just by the way you walk on it. There was actually never any mining at this location except across the street. I think there was a uh, gravel quarry over there. Now none of this is posted, no trespassing. But at one time this was a very important spot. And then when the hotel and everything got here, it turned into a more important spot. Couple more old foundations. And this is where the main source of the spring water comes from. In this area right here. There's old piping, new piping. Just a lot of stuff. All the years in the fire service and working around power lines and being in the tree trimming service with my landscaping company that used to trim around all these power lines. I always make it a habit to look up and look at them. I wouldn't want to walk under anything that has a wire that start getting ready to fall off the insulator because it's not tied on correctly or right or somebody shot it and damaged it and it's getting ready to fall so you always look up if something don't look right don't walk under it 
But this is it. This is all there is left of alkali. Yeah, Windy Bill here. And I was leaving alkali and look at the mama horse and her baby. And she's a tiny baby. She's a spring baby from this year. And there's more burrows here. She and her friend came off and got away from the herd, so they left and went up towards the mountains more. Just wild donkeys, wild horses out in the Nevada desert. Cute little pony though, a little baby wagging its little tail. Look at that, keeping flies off. All right, thank you for watching.